Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. And yes, you read that title right. I got seven lipsticks for less than $50 American. Uh, how did I do this? Especially since six of them are Kat Von D and one of them is Urban Decay. I will tell you. A Sephora closed down in Maine. And when this happened, all of their stock went to a Marden's, a discount store in the States, a Marden's in Holton, Maine. Of all places, Holton, Maine. And they have just, they, a lot of their foundation and stuff is gone, but they just had a crap ton of lipstick. And this was me holding back, you guys. Because when my mom saw how excited I got about these lipsticks, she offered to buy some for me. And she bought me seven. And, oh, if you, oh, it was like Christmas, guys. So this is going to be talking about the ones that I got. Sorry about this, by the way. I swatched a friend's liquid lipstick earlier, and it's, like, on my hand. But what I'm going to do for you is going to do live swatches on my hand, and then I've got lip swatches, photos of lip swatches I did the day I bought them, except for this one which we'll start with in a moment. Um, you'll notice some of the swatches <laughs> are not that great when I tried it on the other night when I bought them, and that's because I was tired and it was really hard to get all of them off. So, some of them won't be the best swatch, but you'll kind of get an idea of them. So we'll start with the one that I'm wearing, which is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Witches. So... I saved the boxes for you guys so that you could see the boxes as well. Uh, this one was $6.20. I mean, come on, guys. And I had never tried Kat Von D stuff before, so I was kind of worried to try them or to get some of these fun, crazy colors because it's a kind of expensive and I don't know if I'd like the formula or not. I know that Kat Von D is amazing now, but you know. So this is the packaging of their Everlasting Lipsticks. The lid is gorgeous. There is some black detail you really can't see. You can kind of see it in the light there. There's like some black detailing. But because the lipstick is black, you can't really see it. So you open her on up, and it's just like a standard doe foot there. And you get a little bit of pressure because the tube is so thin. Uh, so again, the shade is Witches, and it's 0.22 fluid ounces, or 6.6 .6 milliliters of product. But this was done with the thinnest layer of liquid lipstick I have ever put on anything, you guys. So thin. And it was amazing. Just amazing. I'm not even going to bother putting it back in the box. I can throw those out now. Put them in a spot where I can find them later. <laughs> so that's the first one. Uh, not pausing for the photo because you can see it right here on my little lippies, on my little lipperonies. Sorry, but like the butthole lip mark. <laughs> and this is after drinking coffee and having this on since, I've had this on since 4 o'clock. It's 6.30 now. So two and a half hours, including drinking coffee and this inside lip is the only like part I have bad. I'm just saying, it's pretty good. And it's not as thick and cakey as I find NYX liquid lips. Um, I love NYX ever, like the NYX liquid lips. I love the liquid, I think it's liquid suede. I love those, because they're cheap. <laughs> so it's like $10 each, and it's like, yes. But this is so good. Like, only a little smidgen right there from my wet mouth corner amazing like I could almost call this kiss proof I don't know if you could like make out but you could like a little pecaroonie with new smudging on there sorry I keep looking at like the viewfinder today because I'm just like trying to see if, if you can see anything on camera but yes I'm amazed so let's kind of I'm gonna do a lucky dip I'm gonna close my eyes and pick this one so this is Kat Von D's studded lip or studded kiss lipstick. And this one is in the shade Halo. I can see a Halo. Halo. Uh, and we'll pop this sucker open. Da -da -da -da. And all that jazz gotta rouge my knees or 
Roma stockings down. So, the gorgeous Kat Von D studded kiss lipstick tube. Now, each of these studded kiss lipsticks were uh, a little, just under $7.20, I believe. And this is all in American money, so it is a bit more in can Canadian. But it is still cheaper than buying it online. Um, which... I'm just amazed. And I'm totally, I, w I would 100% pay full price for this, by the way. It's just I was afraid to try it. So, here's our beautiful bullet here. It's got a little bit of smooge on it. I got a little smoogin'. But, ba -bum -bum. it's got the Kat Von D stamp in there. Beautiful. And this one again is called Halo, and it's 3 grams or 0.1 ounces of product. And we'll give you a little, little swatch. Bright orange. And I love it, and I think it looks amazing on me. And my friend Di, I sent her photos of all of it, and she's like, How do you look good in orange? Nobody looks good in orange! And I'm like, Girl, because it's me. Mm-hmm. I look awesome in orange. I love orange. Orange is my color. Orange is like the color of my aura like 90% of the time. So, yeah. Orange. And cut to the photo. And we're back. Let's try out another lipstick. Let's go for a lucky dip. Oh, the Urban Decay. This one is actually from the Alice Through the Looking Glass collection that was still left over a little bit. This one is the metalized lipstick called Time. And I got an Urban Decay uh, Vice lipstick here to compare the way it looks. This is the Vice lipstick in Big Bang, by the way, which I'll just quickly swatch here for you anyway, just so you can see. It's a buildable, so it kind of goes on a little sheer, but you can build it up to a brighter pink. This is gorgeous, glittery shade. But this is what their bullet lipsticks look like generally. It looks like a bullet case like this and then it's got the top on and this is what they usually look like. But this one has the gorgeous through the looking glass pattern on it but it's the same shape. Same shape and it's just black on the inside. This is beautiful dark blue. I dropped it though. Look. I dropped it and nicked it. Very sad. But it's got the Urban Decay logo there. And it's just dark, dark blue. But it is kind of, it's metalized as well, so it is kind of semi-sheer. Kind of see that semi-sheer, but you can build it up to a darker blue. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. And it look, it makes your lips look kind of wet. It's interesting. Cut to a picture of that one. And we're back again, uh-huh. Um, and also, I'll cut to a picture of me wearing Big Bang, just because why not? Alright, so next we're going to talk about one of the most popular Kat Von D liquid shade, not liquid shades, lipstick shades, and that is Lolita. We will pretend that's the fashion and not the book about pedophiles. Um, I hope it's about the fashion, because I love Lolita fashion. And it is... Gorgeous! It is a dark, rosy pink. I think this shade would look good on anybody of any skin tone. It would be like a pinky nude on someone with like a dark, dark skin tone, but on me, it's like a dark, pink, rosy shade. And a little live swatch -a -da -da -da. It looks more red here, but it looks very pink once it's on my lips. Ooh, it smells like cupcakes. Like cupcakes, do 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 do. The other one smell like cupcakes. Not so much, but this one smells very vanilla-y for some reason. I'm gonna turn off my sound. <laughs> um, so let's cut to a photo of Lolita. All right, so then I'm gonna do the color Poe. This one is a little bit similar to Urban Decay Time, but it's it's a little more purpley and it's not as kind of sheer as this one is. This one is a matte shade, I believe. So Poe, 
and all that jazz. Oh, it does have a slight shimmer to it, but it's like a purple shimmery kind of tone. But the blue part is like matte. It's interesting. But roll it back down a bit. So it is a bit darker and a little more towards the purple side, whereas uh, Time is a little more reflective. This one is a little bit, but not as much. So I love them both for different reasons. Um, Time is more blue and Poe does have that purple kind of tinge to it, but it's gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. I love it so much. And Q Poe. Next, we'll be talking about Plan 9, which is possibly the one I was most excited about. Because um, you saw my Walmart goth haul, where I got two lipsticks from um, Hard Candy, and they bleed badly. They vein outwards, but these don't bleed. And they're way nicer. <sighs> so nice. But look at that! If Bonnie's watching, but she never would. Why would you watch Bunny? Why would you be watching me? Graveyard girl, Gator Green girl, get your Gator Green on. And this one does have a little slight shimmer as well, but it looks very matte once it's on. We'll do a little smoocheroony. Ah oh, yeah, look at that gorgeousness. Let's cut to our photo. And last, but certainly not least, we have, I don't know how to say, Nayon. Nayon. I think it's supposed to be like neon, but it's like Nayon. Uh, but yes. Or sodium yon. Sorry. <laughs> is, is sodium N-A? Science geeks! Tell me in the comments below. But this one is a shimmer black. It's a like black with a silver shimmer. Look at that. It looks very black on the camera. But once you see it on my lips, you'll definitely notice that it is shimmery. But these are gorgeous. Gorgeous. Yeah, I'm noticing once it's on my hand that Neon, Poe, that Neon, Poe, and Plan 9 do have shimmer in them, but Lolita and Halo do not, and obviously Big Bang and Time do. Um, just noting too, I bought Big Bang separately. This was just to compare the metalized from Urban Decay, so you can kind of get an idea of it, because this was slightly before the Vice Lipsticks came out, I think, or it was around the same time. I think it was about the same time the Vice Lipsticks came out, or slightly before. But yeah. So, let's go see a photo of Neon. And that, my guys, and gals, and non-binary pals, sorry. I was watching Thomas Sanders earlier. Um, <laughs> I love other YouTubers, so sometimes things happen. Anyway... Um, that was my seven lipsticks for less than $50 US haul. Um, I'm living. I am down to clown. I am having it. Let's just say, um, <laughs> it is like my Christmas. It's like, it's, it's like Yule. It's second Yule. Or rather Beltane. It's Beltane. It's delightful. Beltane's more like opposite Samhain. Anyway, this is not my pagan channel. But I am just so beyond excited about these and beyond thankful to my mom who bought them all for me. Um, I was going to buy them myself, but my mom saw how dang excited I was about these and she let me get seven. I originally had ten picked out and I was trying to narrow it down to six. She said that I could get five sticks and then my liquid. Uh, and then I couldn't decide between Halo and Plan 9. And she was like, if you're having that much trouble, 
Jess put it in the cart, and I was like, I love you, Mommy. I love you so much. But, guys, if you live in Holton, Maine, girl, you're always going. First of all, shout out to Holton, Maine, because I used to go there all the time. Um, if you're from Holton, Maine, you know my hometown now, because you totally know where people from Canada come from <laughs> when they're in Holton, Maine. But, guys, guys, I'm living. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have tried Kat Von D lipsticks, which one is your favorite shade down below? Is it a shade that I didn't mention today? Or is it one of the shades that I showed you today? If it's a shade that I didn't show, tell me the shade name, whether it's their Everlasting Liquid Lip or if it's the Studded Kiss li uh, lipstick. And tell me why that's your favorite shade. And I love you guys so so much hit that subscribe button down below you never know what you're gonna get from me it is a whole grab bag of fun here that's why it's called my own damn show whatever i damn well feel like thank you guys again so so much for watching i can't thank you guys enough i can't believe we are at 800 something of you guys like what is happening but yeah i'm gonna go now Bye bye